The countdown has begun. Musk himself has tweeted the words we've all been waiting for. Congrats to SpaceX. But what exactly are we congratulating SpaceX for? Well, we're talking about Starship's launch license, a ticket to the stars. But before we launch into the details, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you don't miss any of the thrilling updates on this historic journey. Let's take off. On April 20th, 2023, the world watched in awe as the fully stacked Starship rocket took flight. In the initial moments, it was the promise of a new era in space exploration. However, that excitement soon turned into concern as the launch system unexpectedly veered out of control, sending shockwaves across the SpaceX community and the entire space industry. The test flight concluded with a spectacular explosion, following a manual termination initiated by the ground team. SpaceX, however, is no stranger to setbacks and has a history of learning from them. In the aftermath of the dramatic first test flight, the United States Federal Aviation Authority, or FAA, launched a thorough investigation into the incident. Their goal was to find the root causes and ensure that such mishaps would not recur. In a report released on September 8th, the results of this investigation revealed a comprehensive list of 63 corrective actions that SpaceX must take. These corrective actions were meticulously outlined to prevent a reoccurrence of the mishap that had marred Starship's first flight. The FAA plays a pivotal role in certifying the readiness of rockets for launch, ensuring the safety of spaceflight. To put it simply, these actions are the roadmap to redemption for Starship. They address critical areas of concern, from hardware modifications to operational procedures. SpaceX, known for its innovative spirit, had to meet these stringent requirements to move forward. So how did SpaceX respond to the FAA's findings? As expected, SpaceX, led by Musk, wasted no time in rolling up its sleeves to address the FAA's laundry list of corrective actions. It was a monumental task, but one that SpaceX tackled head-on. On September 10th, Musk took to social media to share a significant milestone. His tweet conveyed a clear message. SpaceX had completed and documented 57 out of the 63 items required by the FAA for the second flight of Starship. It's worth noting that the remaining six items refer to later flights, indicating that SpaceX's commitment to safety extends beyond just this crucial second test flight. On the day prior to his announcement, Musk shared a captivating image on X, captioned, Starship Flight 2 featuring the fully assembled Starship rocket perched on the Starbase orbital launch mount, a testament to SpaceX's engineering prowess. However, it is interesting to note that the rocket was later de-stacked for undisclosed reasons. Speculation started with many suggesting that this de-stacking was most likely to facilitate addressing any actions or modifications required by the FAA, underscoring the company's commitment to adhere to all regulatory standards and safety protocols. And this week, SpaceX has once again stacked Starship Ship 25 and Booster 9, reigniting excitement. This was conducted using mechanical chopsticks, completing the intricate operation of mounting the colossal Starship on the massive first stage in about 90 minutes. With a diameter of 9 meters and a height of approximately 50 meters, the 100-ton Starship was elevated and precisely positioned atop the 71-meter tall Booster 9. Nearly an hour was dedicated to ensuring the two stages were securely coupled through robotic fine-tuning. Starship's quick disconnect showcased what appears to be a full-speed retract, introducing us to some interesting flappy door dynamics. Many are eagerly anticipating a full-stack wet dress rehearsal in the future, where prototypes will be loaded with around 5,000 tons of liquid oxygen and methane propellant, and will undergo a launch countdown, aborting just prior to ignition and liftoff. A wet dress rehearsal is designed to replicate the launch attempt meticulously, allowing SpaceX to assess operations and refine processes with the gathered data. It gives a formidable indication of readiness for launch, something that has always been a highlight for enthusiasts. If the rehearsal concludes without substantial issues, SpaceX intends to ignite all 33 of the Raptor engines installed on the Super Heavy Booster 9 in a simultaneous fashion, pushing boundaries in several dimensions. However, the path to success is laden with uncertainties and challenges. 
Several components and protocols need to be verified and validated, including interim static fires with fewer engines and another short D-stack to arm the flight termination system, typically very close to the actual launch date. However, the design concept of Starship and the Mechazilla differ significantly from conventional rockets, allowing for multiple easy stackings and D-stackings. SpaceX has already conducted successful static fire engine tests on both Ship 25 and Booster 9. These prototypes represent the Starship upper stage and the Super Heavy first stage, respectively. So SpaceX has made significant progress in addressing the FAA's corrective actions. But when can we expect to witness the launch of this revolutionary rocket once more? With the required corrective actions in motion, Starship's second test flight is drawing near. The fully stacked Starship rocket, standing an impressive 394 feet tall, has been a focal point of SpaceX's efforts in recent months. This giant of the skies has been meticulously prepared at its rebuilt Starbase facility launch pad located in South Texas. On September 6th, Musk took to X to declare, Starship is ready to launch, awaiting FAA license approval. While an official launch date is yet to be announced, this statement echoes SpaceX's previous experience with the first Starship test flight. SpaceX is no stranger to navigating the regulatory process and has a track record of launching soon after obtaining FAA approval. For those following SpaceX closely, this process might sound familiar. SpaceX underwent a similar procedure before the first Starship test flight, which eventually led to the historic launch we witnessed earlier this year. While a specific launch date for SpaceX's Starship remains uncertain, predictions can be made based on recent statements from the FAA. The FAA is actively working on completing safety reviews, aiming to update the SpaceX Starship launch license by the end of October. This involves ensuring that all corrective actions related to public safety as identified in a recent mishap investigation report have been duly implemented by SpaceX. The license modification is critical for enabling additional launches as the original license was effective for only a single launch that occurred in April. However, there is a concurrent environmental review underway which is considered a wild card in determining the actual schedule. Thus, depending on the progress and outcomes of these reviews, it's anticipated that more clarity on Starship's launch schedule will emerge around mid to late October. While we don't have official confirmation that the FAA has awarded SpaceX a launch license yet, SpaceX's history suggests that once this crucial step is completed, Starship could be ready for liftoff. As we edge closer to Starship's second test flight, one thing is certain. The future of space travel is being forged before our eyes. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the stars. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay updated on the latest developments. See you in the next video.